Hey guys, it's Mike Morrell with Caroline's Dream Team, and we know that oftentimes buyers need to sell and sellers need to buy. Today we're going to explore your three options as you navigate through the highly competitive market we're in right now on both sides of the transaction. It's not a secret that your home value is likely increased substantially, and this may make it an opportune time to move. But where do you go in this highly competitive market? Today we'll be discussing how to both sell and buy to ultimately help you to achieve your real estate goals. There are three routes you can take, buy and then sell, sell and then buy, or buy and sell at the same time. Each one has different pros and cons, so it's important to be aware of what you may be getting yourself into. So before you start, review your finances. Getting pre-approved from a lender will help you to know exactly how much you can afford when buying a home. Along with our fantastic lender partners, we can guide you through this process. First option would be buying first. This is probably the least stressful of the three options. If your lender tells you that you can qualify for both homes, you're afforded the flexibility to enjoy a more relaxed home search without the pressure of trying to sell your home at the same time. You also won't need to find temporary housing and can move in on your schedule. In a normal market, the potential downside of this could be getting stuck with two mortgage payments. But this is less of a threat in our current market, where inventory is down 62% year over year, and homes that are marketed well and priced right are selling in only days. Your second option is selling first. If you sell first, you have the luxury of knowing your real buying power and how much you've netted on your home sale, and there's no fear of getting stuck with two mortgage payments. You could get a short-term rental or stay with friends and family while we find your new home. You'll likely have to pay for storage for some furniture and belongings if you go this route. We could also help you to find a rental while we search for your dream home, or wait for the market to normalize a bit. Selling first definitely is the least stressful of the three methods. And finally, buying and selling simultaneously. This is your best option if you want to avoid temporary housing entirely and move from your current home directly into your new dream home. The potential downside of this method is you'll be on the clock to find your new permanent home or find temporary housing. One way to allow for a bit of flexibility here is to negotiate a lease back on your current home, where the buyer closes on the purchase but allows you to stay in the home for a month or two after closing to allow you some time to find your new home. Carolina's Dream Team has helped people to sell and buy simultaneously many times in recent months often by helping our sellers to purchase an off-market home. We have an extensive list of sellers that are not currently actively being marketed, but who would in fact sell their home for the right price. When we go with this method, you avoid the additional stress of having to compete with other buyers in a multiple offer situation. But you do have a tighter timeline and it requires expert coordination to get it done properly. Each situation is totally unique and we're happy to discuss a customized game plan based on your specific goals. And the dad joke. What do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. If you have any questions on buying or selling a home or anything real estate related, please give us a call or shoot us an email. Again, this is Mike Morell with Carolina's Dream Team. Thanks for watching and have a great day.